Hey gang, Mark with The Art of Thrift here. I'm going to show you how we used these thrift store find frames earlier today to paint, to put these um, vintage antique Halloween napkins from the 1950s and 60s into them so they look good and kind of become these Halloween works of art. And here are a lot of the tools that we're going to be needing here. You need some Windex or something like that to clean the glass, to blow off any debris. You're gonna to need to be able to have a yardstick and a measuring tape because you're gonna be cutting pieces down. We've got a flathead screwdriver. It would also help if you have a Phillips because I actually found that I needed a Phillips to get one of the sawtooth hangers off and I didn't have one with me. But I did manage. Bring a Phillips just in case. Need a little pliers to pull out staples. You're gonna need a pencil, a little hammer to put the, um, the little sawtooth hanger on the back, hanger back on the back. Uh, masking tape, usually what I'm gonna do is put this on the back side to finish this off with masking tape, but I'll do that in a little bit. And black masking tape works really well for that. Scissors, and in case you need any pins, needles, wire, something like that, just to be able to hang this guy back up. Because don't forget, once a sawtooth comes off, you gotta put it on the diagonal so that at least half of your design is right side up and you want to hang it. Okay, let's get started. So because they're cheap, they don't glue together very well. So we did the best we could once we put it all in there. But this little wooden medallion from Hobby Lobby, I think, spray painted, glued to the center, made it very, very sturdy. And so we also spray painted some of the frames orange just to give it a different look. Everybody can choose their favorite. What the new frame was that I got was for was to do another one of these. Although this one I'm going to leave black because this one's already done orange. Now, there she is. I could fit her in there, but I would have to get some backing paper on. But I really hate losing so much of the design. When you unfold the napkin, you see there's a lot more to the design. So if you put her in properly, you can get all of her design in the frame. That's why I said I would take out the, the mat and I would lose it for later. Again, this is also probably early 1960s for this one. Again, going on 60 years old. And the reason why this is such, such a hard thing to find is people didn't save Halloween like they used to save Christmas. Halloween was disposable. So to find an old piece of crepe paper going on 100 years old is rare, plus the fact it's just crepe paper. To find it still in one piece and not crumbling is also difficult. That for, therefore, making this really expensive to buy a lot of times. I've gotten lucky. The napkins are usually easier to come by than the crepe paper, but sometimes I've seen crepe paper pieces with just a single picture going for two, three, four hundred dollars. This frame came from one of the thrift stores, cost me $6.99, this piece of crepe paper I got for 40 bucks, and I've been able to get, when I'm done, about eight designs out of this. So 48 divided by four, 40 divided by eight tells you the price of each one. And I have sold this recently for $95. That's a pretty good profit. That also allows me to have paid for the entire thing, plus money, and so everything else will be gravy that I sell from then on. And I've also kept one for myself because I'm a huge collector of this too. So that's what we're doing. We have a show coming up in one week. There's a Halloween in July instead of Christmas in July. And we will see you at the show and I will show you all the different ones. There's about 25 of them in different patterns that will be hanging up there for sale. And I hope to see you there when, you, um, when we do the show next week. We are here today at the Chafee Garcia Museum setting up for Halloween in July. It feels like 100 degrees in here. I'm sure I'm exaggerating, but it still feels like 100 degrees in here. What we're putting up in here is all the vintage and antique crepe paper that has been framed. We're putting price quotes on it. Some of them have already been sold, which is why they're back here, and I do have little sold signs to put on them. Although these are pretty protected, but there's a few that are out here, you'll see in a minute, that are also already sold. So let me get the price tag on this guy over here, and yes, they are pretty expensive because this stuff is pretty rare. This napkin, which I've separated in four seams, has, was done in the 1950s. That means it's almost 70 years old. The fact this crepe paper napkin has survived that long is pretty much a miracle unto itself. Come on, I'll show you around a couple of the other places. Casper poster. Um, reproduction, 
Still, it's pretty big. It measures 27 inches by 36 inches. This is an expensive guy. To get this guy framed was um, quite costly, and he is his price point is reflecting that. And if he doesn't sell, it's okay. He's kind of a fake. So I'm cool. But if he does sell, I'll live. Anyway, let's see. There was one other that was sold over here. Oh, this was already sold. This is an interesting one. Take a look at this. This is a crepe paper witch, 1930s. She's already sold. Now, if you come with me just a moment this way, if you look at this Victorian lamp, the witch has been painted, I painted it, on the orange globe, which looks like the moon. So that matches that crepe paper from the 1930s, which means it's probably going on 90 years old. The lamp itself is well over 100, dating back to the 1880s. The globe, not as old. It's probably from the 1970s. But the orange color was perfect, and the witch looked really cool. It's a great way to do that. You take a picture of that crepe paper, you crumple it up, you put it inside the globe, and put it as smooth as you can, and then you can simply trace on the glass and paint her in. Pretty easy craft to look that impressive. I'll catch up with you in just a little bit. So what you're seeing in here is the finished product from what you saw in the previous video on putting together a framed piece of Halloween crepe paper from decades past. So if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe to my channel, Mark Art of Thrift on YouTube. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon. Oh, and happy Halloween in July. Boy, is it hot.